We suggest you pause this video often. It helps to study the slides. Now we are going to discuss the follicular phase. During the entire follicular phase, a follicle-stimulating hormone called FSH is secreted. When FSH reaches a certain level, five to seven ovarian follicles will be recruited and begin competing to reach ovulation. An ovarian follicle is a fluid-filled sac in the ovary which contains an immature egg. These follicles compete for dominance during the follicular phase, and usually only one ovum would be released on the day of ovulation at the end of the follicular phase. It is possible for more than one ovum to be released in the same 24-hour period of ovulation, and this may result in twins. During the first days of the follicular phase, menses or bleeding occurs. The average length of bleeding is five days, but anything between three and seven days is considered normal. At the end of the menses stage of the follicular phase is usually followed by several days during which the woman feels a sensation of dryness or dampness at the vulva. This is an infertile time, and this stage ends with the beginning of the ovulatory stage. The ovulatory stage is the last several days of the follicular phase. Ovulation typically occurs mid-cycle. That would be approximately day number 14 of a 28-day cycle. However, this follicular phase of the cycle can be the most variable from woman to woman and even from cycle to cycle. Some women ovulate much earlier or later in the cycle. Additionally, things like stress, illness, and poor diet can affect it. The ovulatory stage begins when cervical mucus permits the sperm to pass through the cervix, and during this time, the woman feels increasingly wet at the vulva. This stage can begin five days before ovulation occurs, because sperm can live for up to five days in favorable cervical mucus waiting for ovulation. The ovulatory stage ends 24 to 36 hours after ovulation, because the ovum can live for one day. The woman will sense the end of the ovulatory phase when she no longer feels wet or slippery at the vulva. Once the five to seven follicles are recruited, the fluid-filled sac around them begins to grow. This causes estrogen and the feeling of wetness to increase. After approximately 12 days of the 14 days of the follicular phase, estrogen reaches its highest level, and then there is a surge of FSH and another hormone the luteinizing hormone, or LH. This is called the LH surge, and 24 to 36 hours after the LH surge, ovulation occurs. The beginning of the LH surge is a predictor of ovulation within the next 24 to 36 hours, and LH can first be measured in urine at the beginning of this surge. There are tests women can do that measure the LH in their urine, and some women use this information to avoid or achieve a pregnancy. These test strips are the main feature of certain methods of natural family planning. Remember that the ovum will die unless fertilized within 24 hours after release. However, sperm can live up to five days waiting for ovulation to occur. Taking into account sperm survival and ovum survival, the fertile number of days in a cycle is generally considered to be six to seven days.